Good morning, PCT. <laughs> um, anyway, it's it's a really cold morning. It was quite cold, but we're at elevation too. So uh, I'm exactly 9.7 miles uh, from Snoqualmie Pass. So it's not a big day today at all. Uh, we're, we should be cruising in there early afternoon, probably. Um, I hear it's pretty easy after Ridge Lake. Ridge Lake's another two and a half miles, uh, but it'll all be climbing. So once I'm there, I'm fine. And also I need to camel up. I'm told there's no water after that. So um, <clears throat> I have no water now. So, <laughs> hey, I mean, anyways, uh, the sun's finally starting to peek out and it's actually supposed to be a hot day. So we've got two things we want to deal with, or deal with, we want to see today. Number one, we want to see um, Mount Rainier in its full glory. Uh, I got a glimpse of it yesterday. I got, took a couple shots of it, but it was so far away. You know, it was like 15 miles away. So it'd be nicer to get a little closer, and we are going closer. So we'll get some, let's get some good shots of that. And then my biggest fear of the day is uh, the catwalk. This supposedly narrow little walk that goes along the edge of a, a steep rock face and steep like I mean really steep up and down when you get this narrow little ledge to walk on for I, I guess somebody said it was like a mile or something uh, but it's not till after Ridge Lake so I get time to calm myself down and not, you know 99% of the time when you have anxiety over something that thing never happens. Anxiety's fear of what could happen. Uh, it never happens. So I'm just going to keep convincing myself of that. Anyway, let's go get it. Let's have a great day. And uh, first thing I'm going to do when I get into town is grab myself a large pizza from what I hear is supposed to be an amazing little pizza shop. And also there's a sandwich in Lee's Grocery in the deli section. This is what I'm hearing. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Uh, that's supposed to have a, an amazing sandwich <clears throat> that you can build yourself. So we'll check those out for sure. And oh, and a, an ice cream, a bucket of ice cream, a big bucket of ice cream. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed. I'm a hiker. Okay, the silly check. I see nothing. So we're good to go. We are off. Let's do this. So big climb first thing in the morning. And you know how I like to do my climbs in the morning. <clears throat> then another little climb later, but it's only one mile. Which lately seems to be... Oh, look at this. Hi, buddy. It's a doe. Look at you. Aren't you beautiful? You're looking right at us, posing, seeing if we're a threat. We're not a threat. It's just a camera. Cool. See you later. I just... Oh, uh, never mind. I was going to say I hope there isn't rocks, but here we go already. Boy, these rocks really chewed up my feet yesterday. Blisters the whole nine yards. Mount Rainier. Wow. Insane. Alaska Lake. Isn't it pretty? It goes all the way over there too. This is Ridge Lake, everyone. My last water before Snoqualmie. So I'm gonna... Okay, break's over. Let's grind. 7.2 miles left. A uh, bit of an uphill here now. And then some puds for a couple miles and then downhill. 
into into town. Let's go get it. Okay, next up is the famous catwalk, which should be coming up shortly, I would imagine. But we'll see. Maybe I'll ask this hiker here. And then we'll find out. Hello. How far is the catwalk? Quarter mile. Nice. Thank you. And there you have it. Quarter mile. Let's go get it. And here it is. The Kendall Catwalk. So a little history on it. They used dynamite to blast the side of this mountain so that they could uh, set a path here. Uh, I thought it would be much skinnier than it is. My anxiety was not rectified, or whatever you call it, qualified, because um, this is not bothering me at all. I was thinking something totally different. But anyway, it's famous, and by today's standards, this would never have been allowed since they've been put into place uh, what's called Leave No Trace. This is definitely a trace of uh, mankind coming in and altering, you know, the environment. So, this is it. I was all anxious for nothing. That was awesome. The Kendall Catwalk. Woo Love it. Okay, a little bit of downhill now. And uh, I think there's a couple of puds, but and, until we do our final descent. And I believe that starts at around the, well, where there's five miles left, so. Yeah, oh, and there, my ears just unpopped. My ears were popped for two days, and now they're okay. Wow, we must be getting down in elevation, I suppose. Now, this is trail. I get a break from the rocks. For how long, I don't know. But my feet are grateful, I can tell you that. Okay, descent is almost over, and we got about 0.4 to uh, what's the place called again? Oh, I forgot the next town. <laughs> I can never remember this town for some reason, but I do know I have a reservation there for two nights, so I am zeroing. Uh, my foot, it's bugging me, it's just bugging me a bit, I'm just going to give it a bit of a break and, you know, so, yeah. You hear that? You must. Well, to me it's the sound of pizza. Or, or a hamburger, or a milkshake, or 
all of the above at the same time. Alright, so I went to the restaurant of the hotel and uh, managed to get a few videos up. And now I'm going to head over to the hostel because I know they have no Wi-Fi at all. So, but they do have dinner waiting for me, I hope. <laughs> dinner starts at 6 and it's 5.58, so it might be a little cold by the time I get there because it's a mile away. But anyway, this is where I am, Snoqualmie. And this is where I'm staying tonight. Google you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, walk. And, um... So this here is the Washington Alpine Club. And we are at the Guy Cabin, as you can see. And it was built in 1932. And you can see it. This here is a ping pong room and also the bathrooms and the showers are here quite nice I don't know what's down there but then we go up here to the dining room where there's lots of people taking you for the tour and up here where everybody's shoes are. And I'm charging my block over there. And then up here where there's a recreation room, which I'm going to go and play one of the guitars, because you can only play one at a time. That's the rumor. Sorry. This is a co-ed dorm. And then up here, third floor, is the women's dorm. And this is my bed. So anyways, that's the end of the hiking day today um, in town. And it was just a Nero, Nero getting in here. But I did spend most of the afternoon down at the the uh, restaurant there, talking to those people that you saw the pictures of. And I'm here for I'm here for two nights, and I might do a third. I'm not sure, but it'll, it won't be here. It'll be it'll be at the the Summit Inn probably. Um, and we're in a town called Snoqualmie, so. Snoqualmie is primarily a ski resort village type of thing. <clears throat> and that's what this building is too. It's primarily for the Washington Alpine Club. And their first order of business is skiing. Uh, this building being almost 100 years old is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so I will do some shots uh, around the village here. But, uh, but that won't be till tomorrow. So... I don't know if I'll just do do like I've been doing, a video for each town or each each uh, you know zero that I do. I think I'll continue that because it's no point counting days when you're not even on trail. So those day markers will be strictly for uh, days on trail, right? Anywho, yeah, that's it. <laughs>